So they've told us that the average is 129 rabbits. So it, since it oscillates 25 above and 25 below that number, I'm just going to subtract 25 from the average, which gives me 104. I'm going to add 25 to that, which gives me um, 154. And they're telling me the low, it hits the lowest value in January. So the other thing i got to keep in mind is that the period of this is 12 months. So that's 12, that's 6, that's 3, and that's 9 months. Um, so the lowest point happens in January. And then it hits the average 3 months later. Maxes out 6 months later. Back down to the average. Back down to the low point. So I'm seeing a reflected cosine function. I know the amplitude is that up and down shift, which is we know is 25, they told us. Um, we know the period is 12 months, so to get the B number, we're going to take 2 pi, which is the standard period for the cosine function, divided by 12, so that gives me pi over 6. Okay, and it's not shifted left or right at this point. And we see the midline is 129. So let's try to function. So we know f of t or y or whatever you want to write. They're telling us t, I guess. So f of t or p of t equals, um, let's see, it's a reflected cosine function of negative 25 right, with an amplitude. And we know the b number is pi over 6. It's not shifted left or right, but it is shifted up to the midline at 129. Okay, the second part of this equation, or problem, asks us to what happens if the lowest had happened in April. So that means instead of being at January, it's going to shift over to 4, and then it just does the same thing. So I, what I'm seeing is shifted right 4 units. Everything else is exactly the same. So the only difference between this function and the previous one is we're going to add a shift to the right inside our parentheses. It's important to remember to write this in like a factored form. So to the right, then I'm adding 129 again. And that's how you deal with this kind of function. Then if they were asked you to pre make a prediction for, for the population, you'd have to replace... Uh, I'm seeing one error that I'm making that I better fix. I should be using T here, not X. And some of you have been caught with my, my open math where you're typing in X's and not T's. Okay, so I hope that helps you solve this kind of question.